Hello guys, welcome back to my Guild Wars 2 Zero to Hero, where I dive into the game and to a fresh new character, to experience the game all over again from scratch, while giving tips and information about each of the things I do to help out new players. So after working on my gear and uh, light spec, I decided to go back to the auto loot mastery to finish it, from center ulterior. It's very important for any player. Before getting the experience to get the mastery, I needed some uh, mastery points and I decided to do some uh, mastery insights around uh, Central Alteria. If you wanna get this mastery point in uh, Iron Marshes, uh, remember to go here, there's a tunnel under the water. And the mastery unlocked. Uh, this mastery in Mount uh, Maelstorm, I used uh, the level 1 uh, Springer to get here. It's that easy. This one is in Mulcher's Leap. I simply got here by the Springer, level 1. And then I went to uh, the Silver Waste to get some experience to level up this mastery. And uh, there I got lucky and I found two uh, legendary bosses. Each of these uh, legendary bosses gave me another mastery point. So I have finished the mastery. Here it is. Now I don't have to walk up to uh, Meta Loot to loot it. Just can teleport it into my inventory. And I, and I no longer have to loot... Uh, mobs I, I kill. Uh, this is like the most important mastery you can get in Guild Wars 2. Always rush this mastery when you first start the game. Auto loot. It also gives you a lot of other things. The most thing we want is uh, the auto loot. There you go. Nice. Also I found uh, a hero point train. If you don't know what a hero point train is, like a commander would uh, gather a lot of people and they can do uh, hero points together, especially the Heart of Thorns ones, because they're hard to do. So I joined one, it was in Verdant Brink, and uh, I came to the Silver Wastes, and I come here, and I can go to Verdant Brink without doing the story. Like, you can go to the area without doing the story. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my uh, uh, hero points on uh, Heart of Thorns. I wanted to do Hammer Weaver, but I don't have a Secret of the Obscure yet. Usually Heart of Thorns, um, like, uh, hero point trains, doesn't require you a lot of things. They just want you to have the glider and the... Uh, the basic raptor or springer so even as a new player you can join well it started i have to rest uh, every time i glide because i don't have the infinite glide in mastery then i'm gonna I'm gonna get the uh, mastery here then i'm gonna go for the hero point So I'm doing uh, the hero, hero points uh, train and we have a level 7 character with us. <laughs> the commander asked uh, what is this level 7 doing with us. I was like he must be a Dark Souls uh, player for sure. That's how they play games. <laughs> they, they go from level 1 and go exactly to the end game. <laughs> So it's time for me to buy some ascended stuff, like the amulet. I'm simply gonna buy uh, an amulet from the laurel shop. Easiest way to reach it is to go to the PvP lobby. I'm gonna see if I can find a, a celestial amulet. Here, here it is. Yeah, it is. And uh, with the amulet, you're gonna need an enrichment. <clears throat> Enrichments are a bonus you add to your amulets. Give you 20% uh, gold for monsters or magic find or experience from kills. 
I'm gonna buy both the magical and uh, uh, I don't know what to get exactly. For me right now, the experience uh, is more important since I'm leveling masteries and stuff. So I'll just get a, the experience. I can also buy rings, but rings are easy to get from fractals. I just needed the amulet to get the enrichment. And speaking of fractals, I'm gonna join some fractals. It's gonna be my first time for the elementalist. So that means I'm gonna buy some agony infusions and put them in my armor. By order. Six. Plus plus. Looks like I can get a lot of gold from uh, the news about the legendary relic. The prices of uh, an identified gear has skyrocketed, even doubled. I can just make a lot of gold in this month. And uh, unidentified gear are really easy to get. So right now this is probably the best gold farm in the game. Uh, <clears throat> but open in uh, yellow uh, and in that gear is probably better right now because the price of ectoplasm is still higher let's compare okay six gold and uh, so yeah I got more uh, I got more profit by uh, salvaging the rare gear from the the rare and identified gear also got the charm, so that's good. What's the price of that? This right now? Damn. It used to be like 30 gold, uh, 30 silver. 